everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make pretzels in your very own kitchen. They're really easy to make. They only involve a couple ingredients and they're super delicious when you're done. First thing we're going to do is add one and a half cups of warm water. And by warm, it just means to turn your kitchen faucet on and let it run hot and that'll be warm enough. So you're going to dissolve the um, two tablespoons of brown sugar and your yeast. And you're just going to mix that until all the yeast and the brown sugar gets dissolved in. So once the yeast and the brown sugar is completely dissolved, we are going to add our salt and just mix it in real quick. And then I have about two and one fourth cup of flour. However, I may not use it all or I may need a little bit more. You just want to have a nice soft dough. So I'm just going to gradually add this in. I'm going to add in about a half cup and mix that in first. And then I'll continually add until it turns into a nice soft dough. So now I have a decently softened dough. And I'm going to turn this onto a lightly floured surface and I'm going to knead it for about five minutes or so just to get that extra flour worked in. So I'm just going to knead this dough in. And I ended up using about two and a half cups worth of flour in the batter um, just to get it to that nice thickness. You may need more, you may need less. Sometimes it depends on the brown sugar you use or the, how warm the water is or your type of yeast. Um, from what I've read, there's just been a lot of varying in how much flour to add. So we're just going to knead this and you can see it's starting to turn real nice and thick. So once our dough has gotten to this nice soft doughy feeling, a nice soft texture. We're going to put it into a grease bowl for about 30 minutes covered in a warm area to let the yeast take place and activate and let it rise real nicely and it should almost double in size. So our dough rose for about 35 minutes so now I'm going to get a half cup of warm water and dump it into a medium sized bowl and then I have baking soda so uh, it's two tablespoons of baking soda so we're going to put that in with our water and then we're going to stir it up real well and you want to make sure to stir it occasionally um, just so that the baking soda doesn't settle to the bottom and then just put it aside and then we're going to take our dough and you can see how big it's gotten we're going to unwrap it yeah it got very very big when I first put it in this bowl it was about halfway below this. So we're going to dump it out, put that bowl away, and we're just going to kind of roll this out onto a floured surface. And I'm going to scoot it up just a little bit. So I have a ruler here. Um, it's just a piece of paper that I cut to be 15 inches long. That's how long we're going to want to roll out each piece, and we're going to want it ideally to about half an inch thickness however it does tend to rip once it gets thin so I'm just going to cut off a little slice of this the rest of the dough I'm just going to scoot away and then we are just going to kind of cover this in the flour and roll it out And you want it about 15 inches, if not longer. The longer and the thinner that you can make it, the better it's going to turn out. And then this is the fun part. So once you get it nice and rolled out, this is probably closer to 18 inches. But again, the longer the better. You just want to make sure it's above 15. So then you are going to take your two ends and I start off by making a little heart and then just make the lines cross over and then pinch the ends until it gets into a nice pretzel shape and then we're going to take the entire pretzel and we're going to dip it in our solution and then we're going to put this entire thing onto a grease baking sheet and we want it to rise and then we're just going to repeat that process until we are completely out of dough. And so this one is really the ideal thickness. You can see it's about a half an inch thick, so it's real nice and thin. And then we're just going to fold it.
So as you can see, the dough is really risen. Some of mine are a lot bigger than others. I'm not a pretzel expert. Not all of them are gonna look perfect, but they're gonna taste really delicious. So this is the part where if you're gonna make like a pizza, pretzel, this is where you would put the sauce on, put your cheese and your pepperoni, and then stick it in the oven. Those kind are gonna cook a little bit longer. Also, if you're making ones that just have the salt on top of them, go ahead and sprinkle your salt on before you get them in the oven. I'm gonna make cinnamon sugar ones just because that's my favorite flavor. Those you wanna put on afterwards, so let them bake completely first, and then I'll show you how to put the cinnamon sugar on. So after our pretzels are done cooking, mine cooked for about seven and a half to eight minutes, and you wanna make sure they're nice and soft and not super hard on the bottom. So this was my, this was my big pretzel, so I'll do that one first, and this is for a cinnamon sugar coating. If you have the salt coating, you're totally done. If you did pizza, you're done. And you're gonna use the same method if you wanna add garlic or if you wanna add extra salt. So this is melted butter. I use about half a stick. So you're just gonna dump it in and get both sides super wet. And then this is my cinnamon sugar mixture. And I'm just gonna dump it in and rub it around real well and do it on both sides just really generously. And then once that is completely coated, you're gonna just put it on a cookie sheet. And then it's done. And then just move on to the next one and repeat the whole process over again for all of your pretzels. So once we've coated everything with the cinnamon sugar, you're done. And you can serve them warm by popping them in the oven at a low temperature for just about five minutes or the cinnamon sugar will burn. So make sure to monitor it really closely. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment or send me a message. I'm free to answer all questions. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys like it. Thanks.